Welcome to Taiwan News Now Today's Headlines. A workshop on enhancing the propaganda quality of administrative reforms and PAP puppy CPI indicators. Lighting candles to pay tribute to heroes and martyrs. Song Kong City promotes administrative reforms. On the 25th of July, the Department of Home Affairs of Changyuan Province organized a workshop on enhancing the propaganda quality of administrative reforms and PAPI CPI indicators. Attending the workshop were representatives of relevant departments and journalists, reporters of press agencies in the province. At the workshop, the delegates listened to the leader of the Department of Home Affairs, Department of Information and Communication, introduce the roles, purpose, meanings, and realities of the implementation of administrative reform and PAPI CPI indicators of state agencies and units in the province, as well as the situation of applying information technologies in administrative reform. The experts of some departments presented the detailed contents of the state's administrative reform document for the period 2011-2020. At the workshops, participants contributed many other opinions on the situation and solution for propaganda of administrative reform and PAPI CPI indicators on mass media and a local press system. The delegates suggested that the provincial standing agencies of directing to implement administrative reform should create a favorable mechanism for journalists and reporters to easily approach the heads of agencies and units for collecting information to propaganda news on administrative reform and bold indicators. At the same day, Taiwan Provincial Truth Journal, in collaboration with the Department of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs and Taiwan City People's Committee, lighted candles to pay tribute to heroes and martyrs at Sublim Cemetery, Taiwan City. Attending the ceremony were Mr. Nhật Văn Tâm, the Manum Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee. In the solemn atmosphere, the delegation offered incense at the martyr halls and light candles on the graves of Martyr Azoglim Cemetery. Before the sound of heralds and martyrs, Taiwan youth promised to promote the heroic traditions of older generations for completing in learning, training, production, promoting creative spirits, actively participating in patriotic emulation movement, building and protecting the country. The ceremony has arts programs with heroic revolutionary song. The organizing committees also presented many gratitude gifts to policy families, under soldier and policy family. In order to promote administrative reforms and improve the effects of the government administrative management in Song Kong City, thereby improving and upgrading administrative reforms in Dexi, the development and branches of the city are focused on implementing synchronous solutions. In particular, the city focuses on maintaining and applying ISO 9001-28 quality standard for administrative reforms of the state management offices of the city, courts and villages. Organizing the review and assessment of the current situation to add and upgrade the website of the city. Coordinating with departments to unify contents to implement public administrative service level 3 and approaching ISO 9001-2015 quality standard for state management offices. In addition, localities also promote socialization to upgrade one-stop offices. Thanks to synchronous solutions, from the beginning of the year, the rate of dossier processing at the office at all levels in the locality have reached nearly 80%. Of which nearly 40% of dossier have a set on time, thanks to the accelerated administrative reforms in the first six months of 2017, the city has attracted five investment projects with a total registered capital of over 1,400 billion vimdom and a land area of over 30 hectares. 
In order to promote the efficiency of developing tea products and tea trademark for Chef Village is linked with intangible heritage of humanity for Chef Village development. Fulong District will hold a tea festival to honor Chef Villages for the first time in 2017. The festival will be held in October 2017. Chetty Village in Tân Thái Village Tuk Chuan Kamil has a 70 per 80 household who are implementing tea growth with a total of 60 hectares. The yearly average of tea production is 20 tons a year. Thanks to growing tea trees, the living standard of local inhabitants have been developed. Based on training classes, technology transfer, the entire tea growers have gradually changed their perceptions towards organic tea production and with gap standards to improve the quality of tea products to raise local income. Therefore, out of the total of 70 households doing tea, there are nearly 20 households producing tea according to Viet gap standard with an area of over 8 hectares. The local tea growers have known the juvenile of Vietgap standard in keeping good health for people. Currently, Fulong Kermil has over 4,200 hectares of tree tea. Over 100 hectares is grown following Vietgap standard, 32 tree tea villages. Fulong has tea production ranked the second in the tea market in Tanguyen province. Although Fulong tea growers have tried to make good trade mark, buyers have not known its tea product in the tea market. For this issue, Fulong district has decided to hold a tea festival to honor tea trade village in Fulong commune to present tea products inside and outside Vietnam. It is known that Fulong Tea Festival will be held for the first time in October 2017 with seven topics and six competitions. The festival aims to promote tea development and trademark for tea trees villages in Fulong District, linked to intangible hazards of humanity and local tourist development. Tea production should classify the tea production areas, though the trees tea villages see the juvenile of feed gap with an important condition for the product. The festival is held to honor the tea villages' quality tea products tea makers and fine tea villages. This also a chance to raise awareness of tea makers, thereby creating an emulation atmosphere in production labor, contributing to promote full tea products and brands to friends in Tianguan and international friends. Let's have a look at the as news. On the July 24th, the delegation led by Ms. Granti House, Standing Committee's member of Taiwan Province Party Committee, Secretary of Taiwan City Party Committee, visited two mother family in Huang Matu Woods. As the location, she emphasized that Taiwan people are always grateful and remember the sacrifice of heroic martyrs as well as the contribution of mother family for the chuckling and nation liberation. On the latter 24th, Journalist Association of Taiwan Province visited and gave gifts for the families of journalism martyrs, Nong Văn Tư, Kim Cương Village, KT Common, Đồng Hỷ District. In March 1971, martyr Nong Văn Tư worked at Phim Chup, General Department under Political Bureau Training Department, with the task of filming a movies. In April 1972, he died while on a duties in Vinh City, Nghệ An Province. Authorized by Vietnam Journalist Association, the Provincial Journalist Association awarded 5 million Vietnam dong to the families of Martin Nong Văn Tư with many other gifts. On the occasion of 70 years of the foundation of Vietnamese Wars, Invalids and Martyr Days, on the 21st of July, the leader of Taiwan Radio and Television Station and the youth unions of the station visited Vietnamese heroic mother Nguyễn Thị Mão family who lives in Cộng Đồn Village, Cổ Lũng, Commune, Phú Lương, District. Vietnamese heroic mother Nguyễn Thị Mão is 103 years old. She had two sons who was martyr Nguyễn Tiến Lượng and Nguyễn Tiến Giang. Bravery dying in the resistance 
resistance wars against America's Taiwan radio and television station has taken care of her since February 2015. On the Lunar New Year's and holiday days, the units have given present and look after her family to promote the traditional revolution and social economic development for the locality. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.